Hey guys, uh, I will be showing you how to draw a minotaur today. So we're doing a how to draw your D&D character video. Yay. Um, uh, first things first, uh, before we draw the actual minotaur, you gotta look at photos of cows and bulls. That is the hybrid for the minotaur. So you need to look at the animal side if you want to draw the other thing. Um, the body video and body build video on how to build dragonborns and anoles will help you out on this. Um, there's a couple of slight differences, obviously hooves, but I will show you my studies and we'll break down a cow head on the first forward view and I will do one on profile. Uh, so hopefully that'll give you some uh, structural <laughs> things and then we can uh, get into drawing a minotaur. So, uh, I did some studies and yes this is a new sketchbook and I don't do the title page, I just do whatever the hell I want. So never put pressure on yourself for the first page of a sketchbook. If you're stuck, do a study of something. Do hands, do animals, do something that is a study and do like a little composition type thing and you should be okay. <laughs> But down in this corner, I have a photo up of a cow, or a bull, sorry. So what I want to do is I want to look at the basic shape. And it's kind of got like a diamondy shape. But if you're stuck and you don't know how to really like measure, like how to start, stack some boxes. So it looks like there's a major cranial portion of the head. And then there's a, oh, it's gonna be a block in perspective, god damn. There's a smaller block, which should be, if I'm measuring this correctly. Actually, that's about two thirds the size of the box. If I do this and do this, okay, so that's easy to do. All right, so this big box, you're gonna stack another box, but you're not gonna use like the full width of that box. So, let's get rid of this little guy. Sorry. I'm figuring this out as I go. So, <laughs> bear with me. So, let me divide this in half here. <clears throat> and divide that in half. And that half here, that's not really half, that's half. Okay. So, this front half, I want you to put a box in the center. I know, this is, this is going to look so weird. Oh, God. And then, from here... I want you to draw a line from the middle of the front box. Draw a line. So, let's do this again. So you've done the first box, and then you've done another second similar box. Then you've divided the second box in half, and this will be one quarter. Quarter is it four. This will be one quarter, and then this will be, if I get rid of that line there, that'll be like um, a half box. Or two quarters. So four quarters, the center two, that's your nose. So from about the midpoint of this little box here, you're going to bring a line out to the top corner where the two larger boxes meet. Okay? <clears throat> We're going to get through our, we're going to do this with math, damn it. So bring, let's go to the half point and that. We want to divide that down to the quarter. Okay, so we want to take this half box and we want to bring it up to the half point um, in the first box. And then what's what that's going to do is it gives you the half point, so then that, and then divide it in, into quarters. So the bottom, this would be one quarter. This would be one half because it's all full. And then this would also be a quarter. So right where the quarter line meets this other quarter line here, that's where your eye's gonna go. The eyes are kind of at the side, so they kind of do that type thing, but they sit to the side, okay? And then there's like the brows and stuff that can come up here, and from this corner to this corner, you bring it in, and loop it up. And that's your cow nose. 
lip and then the bottom jaw <laughs> and I broke my pencil yay okay so from the top up here kind of dips in in the middle and then it comes and it rounds out and then the horns come off there and then from down here you just bring a nice curved line and that's the jaw so it's from say that's the quarter line here you bring a line down and curve it around to about the half waypoint between the bottom box so that's at one half and it joins up at this triangular line so that's your breakdown of how to draw a goddamn cow head <laughs> Yay! Figured that out with math. Go me! Um, okay, remember, boxes, boxes stack, boxes can easily be divided, you don't have to worry about round corners, and then you just round edges and, like, make points so that everything can, like, figure out. This is gonna be a long video, I'm sorry, but this is, this is a lot. So, now we're gonna do a cow on profile, um, because it's a little bit easier. Oh, look at this big boy! Yeah, or a bull on profile. I'm gonna get a different page here. So, start with our box. Okay. I have to tilt the box, sorry. We are gonna start with the box. That box is going to be tilted. We are going to put on a second box. Again, these are just um, basic measuring tools that I use. I find boxes easier than circles, and it just it breaks things down a lot easier, especially when you're trying to break it into math, which is how art works is math. Now that tilt isn't as tilted as the drawing that I'm or the picture I'm looking at. Sorry, um, so I'll work with it anyways. <sighs> Run a line down the middle. Run a line down there, down there. Okay. So, from this point here, we're going to do the quarter lines. So, that's quarter, that's quarter, that's quarter, that's quarter. This is quarter, this is quarter, this is quarter. So, then we're going to go from here to this top portion. Push it out a bit here. Go a little bit down, but that's going to be the nose, and then it's going to come out like that. The horn will be right in this top box, about centered. The neck is going to drum off. The neck's going to. The neck's really thick on cows, so it starts like here and then comes down. It starts up here, and this is like all thick, meaty mass. This is why you need to look at photography of cows. <coughs> I can only do so much with boxes. So from here, it's going to drop down on the horn, and you're going to go about half a box width down and then join it back up. And that's that the jaw because like the mandible is it the mandible. I don't know what it is. Anyways, that's the bottom jaw coming down. Now the eye is going to be right about, shit, if that comes down here, yeah, the eye is going to sit right, um, so first box, second box, where they meet, um, divided in half at the top quarter line on the edge of the box. That's where the eye is going to set. Yeah, and then that'll line up there. So. Cow mouths don't open very wide, but there you go. But it's fantasy, so do what the fuck you want. Alright, so that is a cow on profile. <laughs> Yay! We're getting through her. Alright, so now I'm going to flip back here. Um, so basically you have your human proportions and you have your cat proportions. The two things that you need to really, actually it's three things that are different. Um, the torso is going to be pretty much, uh, that of a man. 
uh, except for the neck. The neck is going to be really thick because that cow head is so big. It's going to be very heavy. So you want like a really thick neck. Otherwise, it's going to look something stupid like that. It, it's just not going to work. Um, <laughs> yeah, unless you want that, then you go ahead and do whatever the hell you want. Uh, the legs, again, are going to be that um, quadruped back leg. So it's going to be the femur, a short tibia amphibia, what should actually be the heel, and then uh, they walk on their toes. So it'll be a hoof down here. And I like to make minotaur legs really thick because they are very heavy creatures. And the butt's going to be so nice. There we go. So <clears throat> we will break this down as well. Flipping the page. Okay. So first things first, let's get some proportions here so I don't go off the page because I've done that like a thousand times. <clears throat> and as you move the boxes up, so right now I did the two boxes to start. I want this um, minotaur to be looking like straight on, sorry, uh, straight on. So I'm just moving that miniature box, which is basically a quarter piece of the large box up a bit. <clears throat> yeah. We'll get through this. So, the legs are going to be about the same length as the torso and the head. That's a human proportion. I'm just trying not to make them. I'm going to kind of scrunch them a bit so he doesn't fall off the page. So, if we remember how to build our person. We've got the rib cage, which is three stacked boxes, and the pelvis, which is I think one and a half to two stacked boxes that sits under the rib cage, and there should be a slight gap there. And then we've got that, do, 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 and that. Okay, and the arms are gonna come out shoulder to shoulder. They're gonna be like that. So we've got a basic frame of what we're dealing with here. <sighs> All right, ears. Ears sit under the horns and they can be however large you like them. I'm just going to do some floopy horns or ears here and on. Sorry about that. This guy, the ears are going to come out from behind the horn, be a little diamond shape and come about down to that box line. You can kind of be imaginative and make them however you want. Just look at cow ears and figure out the shape that you want. Okay, so top of the box, I know he's going to have some horns. We'll just do some small horns here. A little bit of pumps on top of there. <clears throat> All right, for the neck. That's halfway point. Um, so the neck is going to like pretty much come up the top here. So when you look at him from the side, he's going to look like that. So it's going to be like these two really strong and like you can bulk them out and shit like that if you want. And then it's going to go into the shoulders. So kind of going to look hunchbacked just the way that how thick the neck is. And then from for the pecs, you take the corners of the box and you go down and around following rib cage is an upside down egg so an egg is like that rib cage is like that more egg shape though so just follow that and that goes there that goes there that goes there um that goes there put this down get loin cloth don't need bits on youtube thick legs i like thick thick ankles and thick hooves because minotaurs are quite large and you don't want their legs to be broken. Broken. That, 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 that. Sorry, it ran off the page. And then the tail obviously comes down. Tail uh, starts at the base, like, here's your butt. Oh, look, a butt. Yay. The tail will start right there and come out. Boop, boop. Right? Go down here. The elbow should be about the bottom of the rib cage. That's where it sits around. You can 
adjust accordingly. Obviously, I'm scrunching this dude. <laughs> okay, so then arm, arm, muscle. I'm just filling out. It's basically like all the other like human anatomy that I've shown you how to draw on this channel. You just balloon it out and block in the hands. Give him some nipples. 45 degree from the pit of the neck. That's how she rolls. All right. So let's just go back here. No, go forward. No, 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 I don't know what's going on. What the fuck? What the fuck? So bulls, when they get mad, they tip their head. <laughs> I am drawing this guy like he's looking up. So the eyes, he's gonna have his muzzle here. The eyes are gonna sit about here. Again, you know, it's a quarter. That's a quarter, kinda. Go over here more. Basically, the eyes are gonna sit on either side of the muzzle at the widest point. So you don't wanna but they're not gonna touch the edge of this box. Let's do that, that, that. Give them some fluff, cause I like fluffy cows. And then add in the brow ridge. However you want to draw your goddamn minotaur, you draw your minotaur. You want to give them tusks, you give them tusks. All right, so that is your basic minotaur drawing. So hopefully this helped. Hopefully you stayed with me through my crazy um, ramblings. Uh, remember, boxes, boxes stack, boxes are easily divided and then you just add some round shapes around them and you're good to go. Uh, if you have any questions about this or other videos or you have any requests for other videos, please let me know in the comments below. I will have a centaur video coming. It is gonna be a little bit longer video as well because these hybrid characters take a lot longer because you need to break down the animal before you break down, like, put it together. Yeah, anyways. Um, hope you guys have a great, Wait, is it Thursday? Yeah, have a great weekend. Um, and I will chatter at you later. Bye. It's Thursday today. It's going to be Friday when this video posts. That's what I mean. Anyways, bye. <laughs>